long ago, in a time before the beards, Riley and Madison grew up playing on this court. Watt with blood and tears of mostly Madison's. Many epic battles were won and lost on this very spot. Today, we return to those hollowed grounds. <laughs> That's what you get when you let your 18-year-old brother take over creative direction of your YouTube video. And what he's talking about is that court right over there. So today we're going to give you five quick drills that you can do with just yourself and your partner. So the first drill we like to call bump, set, hit to your partner on one side while your partner moves. Pretty simple. This drill is a good alternative to peppering. Basically what you do is you stand on one side of the court, both you and your partner, and you bump set and as you set your partner will move to another side of the court and you have to see them within your vision and shoot that ball to your partner. This drill is great for ball control and vision and one of the keys to it is when you set the ball make sure you keep it in front of you so you're using your peripheral vision as opposed to the head check. So if this drill gets too easy the next step would be is as you're setting your partner would do a fake and then move. So the second drill is two drills in one. Bump, set to yourself cut shot, and then bump, set to yourself high line. Jameson, stop looking at your phone. Actually, you know what, give me your phone. Give me your phone. So both drills are fairly self-explanatory, but the keys are it is your hand placement on the ball and control, whether it's a cut shot or a high line. And one additional key is that your hips are facing the same direction, whether you're hitting that cut shot or that high line to deceive the defender. Okay, so those first two, two and a half drills, you don't need any lines. But these next three, you're going to have to put down the lines. Right, Jameson, go set up the lines. Go. Quickly. Drill number three, we like to call bump, set, look, shoot to score, no jumping. So one of the reasons why me and Madison used to do this drill back in the day is because it helps so much with your vision. When you're bump setting and shooting, you're looking at the other defender and shooting where he isn't this time. The key word to this drill is shoot, all right? So that depends on you and your partner defining what a shot actually looks like, which may cause some drama, so work it out on your own. That was a hit. My point. Oh. No, 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 that was a hit. No, it wasn't. That yes, was it was. That's, just that was a as... a fucking hit. That was straight down. Dude, that's just as short as your shot. No. Nope. That's hard. That's my point. So this fourth drill, you might think has nothing to do with volleyball, but it really does. And that is the short court, one soccer touch, and then put over. So how that works is you get three touches, all right? One of them has to be a soccer movement, whether it be your foot, shoulder, head. And that's important because you never know when you might need to use those extremities to save a ball or just dig it or whatever else. So for the last and final drill is short court with an emphasis in tooling, chiseling, jousting, fighting, Netting, bickering, not calling it, cheating, yeah, yeah. more cheating, I Madison crying, Riley lifting and not calling it. <clears throat> like Riley said, this was our drill of choice, but we didn't see it as a drill. It was the championship <laughs> game, and there was everything on the line, and Riley would never let me win. So once I'd lose, I'd run into the house, I'd lock all the doors, and this was after hours of playing, hours and hours, double or nothing, triple or nothing, quadruple or nothing and Riley would run around the house pounding on every door to get in and I yelled to our mom mom guess what I beat him I beat him I beat him and mom would be I'm so proud of you Madison you beat Riley to my mom I actually won a lot <laughs> he's a mama's boy those are the five drills me and Madison did growing up but we still do stuff like that when it's just me and him on the beach so it doesn't matter if you only have each other and one volleyball, you can still do stuff. And some of these drills are perfect to work on, you know, ball control, vision, your, your touch on the ball. So there's never an excuse not to get out there. Yeah, and there's never an excuse if you don't have the right sized lines or the right height net. It's all about finding that touch and perfecting that touch on the ball. Yeah. So. I know it's a little bit different, but I hope you liked uh, our video on drills and how me and Riley grew up and how I dominated Riley through our adolescence, teens, and high school, college, and professional careers. <laughs> Thank you very much for joining, and if you liked our video, please leave a comment, and if you want to see more, just sub subscribe. Sub you say it. Sub subscribe. Subscribe. Thank you.